In the meantime, a local mother has a message for everyone. Her seven-year-old son is battling a rare kidney disease, and it turns out she is a match. She was set to donate her kidney, but then this cor coronavirus hit. News 4's Corey Smith now with more on how they're coping through this agonizing wait. Hey, Davidson. Hello. How are you? Good. For seven-year-old Davidson Alagno, everything was going to plan. In September came bad news. His kidneys were failing. He needed a transplant. The next month, good news. His mother, Karen, was a match. When you found out your mom was going to be able to donate her kidney to you, how did you feel? Good. All the medication, all the hospital visits, blood work sessions were building to the transplant. But last week, Davidson's health declined. So doctors at Johns Hopkins scheduled his surgery for June. You know, we had this situation under control. We had a plan. We had options. Um, and all we had to do was get to and through transplant. Mm -hmm. um, coronavirus, of course, changed all that. As Karen and her husband celebrated their 15th wedding anniversary, the phone rang. Davidson's transplant, which was deemed an elective surgery, had to be put on hold. It's news they haven't shared with their son. Our story is a nightmare, but it's not even the worst one you could find. The Alagno family is not alone in their plight. Doctors at hospitals across the country, including here at Children's National, have had to make that call to patients and parents that the surgery you need is just going to have to wait. I have a backlog of cases and to have to push them out, that's it's upsetting for families. Dr. Timothy Kane is chief of general and thoracic surgery at Children's National. He says hospitals and surgeons are in a tough spot having to care for patients and their families while trying to reduce the spread of the virus. While the wait can be agonizing, Karen isn't sitting idly by. She's sharing her story, encouraging people to stay home. Stopping the spread could put Davidson's transplant back on the calendar and put him at a lower risk of getting sick when he recovers. There are people like Davidson who need the health care system to work the way that it should. Like most kids, Davidson is hanging tough. Why don't, why don't you want to give up? After, it's going to feel better. It's going to feel better afterwards. And if mom can't get through to you, maybe a cute kid whose life depends on slowing the spread can. What, what do folks need to do? Stay home. That, Davidson, is some sound advice. Corey Smith, News 4.